There are three main human rights that are key to advocating for an end to gender-based violence. Firstly, the right to privacy is articulated under international human rights law in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 12, and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, or ICCPR, Article 17. The right to privacy is not an absolute right. There are instances in which the right to privacy can be legitimately limited by the state in order to ensure the protection or enjoyment of other fundamental human rights. According to international laws, interferences with the enjoyment of the right to privacy must only occur under three prescribed circumstances. If the interference has a legal basis, the law in question must be precise and there must be safeguards in place to protect against the arbitrary application of the law. If the interference is pursuing a legitimate aim, such as protecting interests of national security or the prevention of disorder and crime. And three, if the interference is necessary in a democratic society, the limitation must respond to a pressing social need and that it must be proportionate to the legitimate aim pursued. In a 2009 report on protecting the right to privacy while countering terrorism, the UN confirmed that these limitations applied when interpreting the right to privacy under the UDHR and ICCPR. If a woman's country has ratified relevant rights treaties and done too little to protect her right to privacy, she can contact the National Human Rights Institution in her region or a local human rights NGO. The second right is the right to freedom of expression, which is part of the Universal Declaration on Human Rights, Article 19, and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, also Article 19. Freedom of expression is one of a series of related rights concerning individual viewpoints. Freedom of expression does not therefore stand alone, but is located within a series of rights which are concerned with holding, sharing, and acting on opinions. This illustration shows the relationship between the rights. Freedom of expression is also often described as an enabling right, because if we have the freedom to express ourselves, we are able to exercise and enjoy other rights, or to exercise and enjoy those rights more effectively. In Clause 3 of Article 19, the ICCPR sets out when the right to freedom of expression might be limited. And that's if it's one, legal, and it's necessary to respect the rights or reputations of others, and two, if it is for the protection of national security, public order, public health or morals. The United Nations Human Rights Council has adopted the principle that rights, including freedom of expression, should be equally applicable online and offline. The third fundamental rights guaranteed under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 8, is access to justice. Article 8 states, Everyone has the right to an effective remedy by competent national tribunals for fundamental rights guaranteed by the Constitution or by law. Access to justice is also established and guaranteed by the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, and the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, otherwise known as CEDAW, including the Optional Protocol and Gender Recommendations 19 and 25. If a woman's country has ratified relevant human rights treaties and done too little to allow her access to justice, she can contact national human rights institutions in her region or a local human rights NGO.